Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own icons for your desktop shortcuts and I'm going to be using a program called GIMP. GIMP is an image editor similar to Photoshop except for GIMP is an open source program. Keyword being open source which means it's free and I think it works just as well as Photoshop does. So I have three pictures on my desktop. I have a mouse, a cat, and a dog. And I also have a dog's folder and the recycle bin. I'm going to open up GIMP. And then I'm going to drag the dog picture into the interface. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the scale tool. And I'm going to click on the lower corner of the picture and drag upwards towards the opposite corner and I'm just trying to make the image smaller and then I'm going to click scale and I'm going to click image fit canvas to layers and now this is the size of my image I'm going to click file save as I'm going to leave it named dog and I'm going to change the extension to ICO and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find the ICO extension in here, click on that, and then click save. Click save again. And here's the dog icon right here. Now I'm going to right click on the dogs folder, click properties, and then I'm going to go to customize, change icon, I'm going to browse for that icon, which is on the desktop. I'm going to click OK. Apply. OK. And now the dogs folder has the dog icon. Now I'm going to go back to GIMP. And I'm going to click Open. And this time I'm going to click on the mouse. And the mouse is already small enough, so I'm just going to go to File save as I'm going to leave it name mouse and I'm going to change the extension to ICO once again I'm going to come down here you can see it's already set to ICO so I'm going to leave it click save save and here's the mouse icon now once more I'm going to go back to GIMP click open and this time I'm going to click on the cat picture. I'll show you one more thing that I like to do. I like to use the ellipse tool and encircle the part of the image that I want to use. And then I right click within the border, go to edit, copy, file, and then new. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to right click, edit, paste. And there's my new picture. Now I'm going to go to scale. And I'm going to once again drag the lower corner up to the opposite corner. It's going to shrink the image. And then I'm going to click on scale. Okay, now I'm going to go to file, save as. I'm going to name this one cat.ico. Still set to ICO down here. I'm going to click save. Save. And here's the cat icon. So now I'm going to show you something kind of neat with the recycle bin. I'm going to right click on the desktop, click personalize, and I'm going to click change desktop icons. I'm going to click on Recycle Bin Empty and then Change Icon. And I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to click on the cat. Click OK. Apply. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the Recycle Bin Full Change Icon. 
browse once more and then I'm going to click on the mouse icon and I'm going to click OK apply and OK I'm going to close these windows out now okay so we have the three pictures on the desktop we have the dogs folder and the recycle bin and the cat is now the empty recycle bin icon we have the three icons down here I'm going to move the dog folder up here and then I'm going to take all of these and put them into the recycle bin and there's the mouse saying the recycle bin is full now if I would empty the recycle bin now the icons back to the empty recycle bin with the cat icon and that's how you create your own icons for your shortcuts on your desktop thank you for watching have a great day